What is up YouTube? Thank you so much for tuning in to yet another video. Today, I'm actually going to be doing something a little bit different. It's not going to be car related, but it is going to be racing related. And um, I just wanted to show you guys what I do in my spare time. I actually have a racing simulator when I'm not racing. And um, I go online with friends or other people and I race, compete with them and stuff like that just for fun. I don't want to do it competitively because I do the stuff in real life so um, yeah I wanted to kind of show you guys what I got and uh, kind of the price point of uh, building something like this and um, yeah just uh, show you guys uh, what it is to have a in-house ra racing simulator so let's get to it All right, guys so this is my computer I did have to build this uh, before I got my racing simulator all up and running so what I went with is a AMD processor first and um, I know there's Intel and it's a little bit better but um, this is the best bang for your buck initially and uh, this is only 180 bucks for the processor and it's this one in particular is the 3600x this one is uh, pretty good as far as the processor goes and um, for the RAM I went with Corsair um, 8 or 16 gigabyte um, memory and uh, has no trouble booting up or anything like that the graphics card is um, a 2070 I don't want to go too crazy on the graphics card but um, this I know EVGA is a pretty good brand as far as making graphics card and and all that so I went with that as well and then Asus I went with the uh, motherboard and uh, in total I think it was about close to I want to say 1400 with the whole entire computer and the case um, so the case was about mm, I want to say $80 and then the power supply unit was another 150 I believe and um, we went with a 750 watt uh, power supply just because we didn't want to uh, run into any trouble if I ever wanted to upgrade or run more power. So yeah, and this uh, case itself is made by Thermaltake and um, this is a really good case. I really like it. It has the fans that change color in the front and um, yeah, it comes with uh, tempered glass. So yeah, it, it's the best bang for your buck honestly for the case. So yeah, and I also added LED strips on it just so you could see the inside of the computer a bit more. And uh, yeah, so that's what I got as far as my computer goes. I wanna give a big shout out to my friend Armand too because he actually helped me uh, build this computer. And when you're building a computer, cable management too is one of the biggest things. So yeah, he helped me a lot with that too. So let me show you guys what I got upstairs and um, yeah, All right guys, so I also wanted to add um, that without the LED strips, this is what it looks like. And uh, it's pretty dark. This, I mean, where the where I'm at right now in the house is pretty bright. But um, when I'm up in my room, you can barely see the case itself. And, uh, but when I have the lights on, it, it just pops. And um, it's super cool to see the lights kind of changing color and with the Aurora sync doing its thing. Um, it's pretty cool. So I just wanted to add that All right guys now that we're back in my room I did want to show you guys my wheel the chair and the whole entire rig that I use for this racing simulator So here it is. Yeah, my uh, wheel and wheel base is made by Fanatec and uh, I'm sure if some of you racers who are watching uh, you guys know about Fanatec but if you guys don't know Fanatec is probably the best in the business um, as far as uh, in-house simulator goes and uh, this in particular is called the DD1 wheelbase. So what DD stands for is direct drive and they have two versions of it. And I got the first version. They do have a second version which makes more power, but I figured I'm not gonna use that much power anyways. But this thing does, if you put it on a high setting, it will probably break your wrists. It's pretty freaking powerful. So yeah, this is what I got. I got the DD1. And just the wheelbase alone is $1,000, but you, you get what you pay for. Um, this is probably the best as far as uh, force feedback goes and everything because you have a built-in motor right here. That's why it's pretty big, as you can see with my hand. And it's directly uh, linked to the wheel itself. So yeah, and I bought this as a bundle. So I got 
these unique paddle shifters and the real formula style clutch um, on the wheel as well. And uh, the rig is made by SimLab. So when the whole coronavirus thing started, I did make my order then. And um, SimLab was pretty good as far as the shipping goes to um, ship this thing here because it did come from Europe. But uh, yeah, this, this whole entire rig doesn't really flex. The pedals I use are um, V3 pedals made by Fanatec. And uh, the seat that I use too is made by NRG. And uh, I didn't want to go too crazy with the seat. I know the seat can go up to 500 to even a thousand dollars. But when I'm just sitting in one spot, I didn't feel the need to go that crazy on a seat. So that's why I went with NRG because with the mounts it came out to be about $200. And uh, I thought that was such a good deal. And um, it's really comfortable too. Yeah, guys, this is what I use to practice racing. <laughs> Hope you guys like it, um, but uh, yeah, and I'll go over the cost with you guys too. All right, so the cost of this whole entire setup altogether, I wanna say it's about 3,500, let's say. I don't know the exact cost. I would have to go through the receipts and everything to uh, get that exact number. But for the computer, I know I spent about 1,400, and then for the rig and the wheelbase and everything, um, I spent about 2000 and um, yeah, that includes everything with the headphones and all that kind of stuff. So um, about 3,500 and you can get a decent um, setup. And uh, some of the stuff that I got on my computer, I could you could probably go cheaper. Uh, you probably don't need that big of a power supply. You probably don't need that good of a graphics card, which saves you probably a couple hundred bucks and also the wheelbase is as well you could save probably about 500 bucks if you don't go with the direct drive and you just go with a belt driven um force feedback wheelbase and the wheel itself too but um evidently it's gonna cost you around i want to say at the cheapest probably around 2500 dollars okay, so that pretty much sums it up I hope you guys liked the video and if you guys are actually interested in building your own racing simulator you can take away from this video and uh, build your own setup but uh yeah if you guys like the video please drop a like down below hit that subscribe button and i'll talk to you guys later peace